Hey everybody, this is Linda, and welcome to Lenny P's Place. Today I am having a 2,000 subscriber giveaway. I am so excited. I just want to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate you taking time to come by and, and check out um, my videos and uh, to spend a little time with me. And so I just uh, want you to know how much I appreciate you. So I want to do a giveaway in celebration of my 2,000 subscribers. It's been a long time getting here. <laughs> so anyway, um, all you have to do is subscribe, like this video, and comment on it. And uh, it will close on March the 28th. And... I'm sorry, but I just have to do U.S. only. Shipping just is too expensive um, to ship international. So um, with that said, I do appreciate the international subscribers that I have. And hopefully later on, maybe I can do another giveaway and, and include you in it. So um, anyway, I just want to move this out of the way and and uh, show you what I'm going to be giving away. So um, a few months ago, I did uh, made some uh, kits and sold them, and they were um, for quilt-covered uh, journals. And um, I had pretty good success with those, so I'm thinking I might uh, make up some more. But I did make up one more for this... Uh, for the giveaway and this is it so um, anyway this is a vintage quilt and um, I like it I think it's pretty Let's see if I can get it open I have the pages on the inside uh, this is the closure that I've included which is sorry silk for you to use to close it up should you want to use it so this is the front and the back and really you can use either side I I like this side but you know that's up to you. Um, I've already put um, some fabric on the inside to back it and I used some um, quilt batting I guess. It's just a flat, you know, um, something that you put in between the, the quilt and the inside I guess. Just gives it a little more um, stability. Not a lot because it's going to be a soft cover. Um, it's not called interfacing. It's something else but I think you know what I'm talking about. comes in a roll and it's kind of like felt. Anyway that's what's in between there. And then I have a piece of um, paper that I colored with, uh, dyed with water co uh, food coloring. Here's a vintage piece of music paper, one of my coffee dyed papers that I uh, used a plastic tablecloth to get the design there. Piece of deli paper, and it's it's sliding because it's uh it's it's not sewn in, and that stuff is slick. So it's a piece of graph paper. Another piece of, um, I don't know, uh, it, it could be watercolor paper, or it might just be cardstock. I'm not sure, I don't remember. Cardstock, I think, is what that is. And it's got a kind of a blue tint to it. I think I used some blue food coloring on that. An Edith Holden sheet there. Another piece of coffee dyed paper. A piece of piano roll paper. Now, personally, I don't like these, but I put one in because I had some, and I wanted to put as many, um, um, as much of a variety as I could, but I never have liked them because they, they roll up, and, and I just don't care for them, but I put one in anyway, and here's a sheet of uh, music writing paper, note writing paper, whichever you want to call it. Um, it's another sheet of, I think this is uh, cotton, cotton paper. It's got a lot of cotton 
um, in it. It's not rag paper. I don't think it has that much cotton in it. But so it's a blend. Here's an old piece from a, a ledger, a small little leather bound ledger that I had. And here's a piece. This is a thick paper, and I call it mulberry paper, but I'm not sure that it is. But it does have these little flowers in it, and it could be some sort of a handmade flower. I'm just, I mean, uh, handmade paper. I'm not sure. And here's a piece of uh, coffee dyed paper with a border along the edge of it. This is just, this is a piece of scrapbook paper. This is a piece of Rachel from Roxy Creations. This is a piece of her straw paper. Here's another piece of uh, a letterhead paper. I like this paper. It's got these little, um, little brown uh, flecks in it, or specks or whatever you call it. Uh, another piece of coffee dyed paper. This is a piece of uh, a page from a flower book that I have. This is a vintage um, onion skin paper. And this is another piece of, <clears throat> another page from a book that I have. I like that picture of the cowboys and the cattle. Just seemed a little vintage to me. Uh, and then, of course, this is the other side of the papers. And uh, so that is the quilt, the basis for the quilt and the pages. And you can sew them in. I just have them. I have, and uh, I also included the string to bind it with. Should you want to use that. So there's that. Now we have a lot of uh, things to embellish with have included a lot of doilies, and these are some little doily connectors. They make really cute uh, flowers and things like that. I mean, like you could take this, this little piece and put it in the middle there and make a cute little flower out of that. Put a button on it or whatever. So those are the small little tiny ones. And then I've included a variety of sizes here of doilies. These you can cut apart. There's a square one there. Then I have some larger ones that are nice. For, you can cut them and make pockets out of them or I guess you could use it for flips or whatever. Or just use them for pieces. Here's a larger piece that has uh, you can cut apart. And then here's another. Here's a piece of a off of a curtain. And then there are some larger pieces. This is a, a piece of a scarf, a dresser scarf. Here's some vintage yo-yos. These are some strips that I um, stamped. I did a bunch of these. I had these in my other um, kits that I sold. Had some left. Um, this says remember memories and create and it has the definitions. This is a piece of uh, that I script, I stamped on there. Some <clears throat> flowers that you can cut apart, use any way you want to. Also some birds. So those are included. Did I miss one? No. And let's see what else do we have. Oh, some um, laces for trim. There's one, a little wrinkled. And this one. That. 
This is a light uh, blue color. It's very, very pale blue. It's a little piece of pink. Another crochet trim. And another piece of a, a pale blue. Then there's this. And this big eyelet trim. Flat lace. Two of those different different ones. And then I also included some fabrics that I thought went, uh, the colors went well with the quilt. There's a little piece of this. There's a piece of this. This checked. And I think this is really pretty. And then a piece of the quilt. And then a big piece of this, which was a tablecloth, hand embroidered. Yeah. There's quite a big piece of this, so there's, uh, I think, a lot of things you can do with this. And you know, a lot of this stuff you'll probably have left over after you finish your uh, journal, because I, I tried to include a lot of things. So let me see if I can kind of put this back the way it was. Okay, and then all the doilies here. Go back that way. Okay, I'm just trying to keep a space here where I have room to show you the rest without uh, having to start piling stuff on top of each other. I think I'll show you this next. Okay, here is some paper ephemera to use. Um, let's see what we have here in this bag. Some stamps. Some S&H trading stamps. Here's two uh, tea cards and a really pretty postcard. I can't read the date, but it's pretty. I like it. I had a few of these um, postcards like that. So there's that. Then I included one of these. I don't. They go in a in a uh, an old viewing um, thing, I believe. So. I don't know how old it is, but it says copyrighted in 1904. So I guess it was 1904. And that says St. Louis Fair series. So there's that. There's a piece of uh, ephemera from the Yonkers Transit Corporation. I think it's a, some type of a ticket, maybe. Here is um, a memorandum. Torn a little bit right there, but I don't think that matters. There's a loan payment and a savings deposit and a uh, credit union deposit slip from a state employee's credit union from somewhere. I don't know where. This is just a card that I got at the thrift store. I don't know what it is for, but you could journal on it. Here's a Seaboard Coastline Railroad Company. Um, mm, it's a deposit slip where they list all their deposits to de put in the bank, I guess. Here's an old piece of uh, paper from an old book. 
this is uh, a piece to this is two pieces of paper from Henry Fielding's essay on nothing I just liked it it's got small um, writing on it if you want to use it stuff here's a page from Greg shorthand here is a piece of a piece of paper from a page from a metric system old math book and this is an old piece of paper from a book some kind of a supplementary notes from something I don't know anyway you got a piece <laughs> that's because that's all that matters and then here's some um, German a page from a German book this is a page from I don't know if it's a Japanese or Chinese or something like that I can't read it so I don't know and then this is another piece of uh, paper I think this is some kind of Arabic but I'm not sure I won't say that it is because not sure but it kind of looks like it to me here's a page from an old stamp book that I have and then a page from an old dictionary this is um, a page from an old vintage the American magazine it's a big book that has all of the um, a whole year's worth of American magazines uh, binded into it so there was a piece from there and someone thought it would be a good idea to circle all the zeros I'm not sure why but anyway piece of that then here's a this and this cracks this this cracks it's old and brittle it's a big page from a ledger book from 1934 and it has decided that it just doesn't want to stay together very well anymore of course I <laughs> I'm getting a little <laughs> cracked and dried out myself <laughs> as I get older and because I do have this book sitting right here by me, I'm going to add a piece of this. This is a book that I got not long ago, like a couple weeks ago. It's an um, agricultural almanac from 1906. So I'm just going to tear out, try to get the whole thing without it. It's going to tear because it's so old, but it's kind of been put together here with a I'm not sure why they have that string on there but see if I can get it out there we go so here's a piece of that book I'll throw in since it was just right here let me put it down there so there you go okay now what we got left for me to show you Oops, forgot a piece. Okay, let me move that there. Okay, and now we have uh, this bag of goodies. Here's uh, a little bag with some beads and a vintage jingle bells in there. I'm not going to um, take them all out. Um, these beads are not vintage, but the bell is. Uh, vintage and then let's see what we have in here I, can get this open. I shouldn't have closed them up until I showed you everything but I was making sure it was going to fit in my mailer okay let's see what we got here okay we got um, a little envelope with some tickets some 
think this is uh, German. I can't pronounce that, but it means the walk or, or stroll, to take a walk or a stroll. And this is, I don't know what this one is. Uh, oh, I guess this is just, <laughs> I guess this is just English. <laughs> yeah, just English. Duh. Um, here are some, some, um, what do you call them? Uh, negative holders. And these are coin holders. They make really cute little frames for images and stuff. So I added some of those. Here's a couple of old um, cards. And this one is a picture of um, Argent. Argent tool something a Claude Monet and there you can find these in the National Gallery of Art in Washington DC this one is uh, houses at a viewers it's a Vincent van Gogh painting and this one is at the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston so there's those Here's a coin envelope. Oh, so those were in there. I can get it back in. You know what? <clears throat> I'm having a little problem here. Got my tape stuck, my stamp stuck on there. I'll put them back in when we're done. I think that's a better idea. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. Here's some pieces of um, Scrabble tiles. There's some, there's a safety pin. Let me just, let me take these out. There's too much in here, I can't show you what's in it. There's a big safety pin. There's some little safety pins. Um, oh, these are safety pins that don't have the loop on them. That's what these are. That's why they're in there. And then I added some, you already saw the Scrabble tiles, uh, some bulb pins. Well, dropping them all over the place. Um, bulb pins. I dropped one somewhere, but I don't see it. I'll find it. Then some little charms assorted charms, two of these vintage brads, and some, there's how many of those, three, six of these, um, shell buttons, see them, you can see them, they catch the light, Pearl, pearl buttons. Okay, there's that. Now let's see what we got here. Well, I really uh, got it all ready to go, didn't I? Let's see what's in here. Oh, yeah. Is that it? Yep. Okay, so here's some vintage uh, pharmacy labels. Some uh, merchandise coupons. One cent, ten cents, and twenty-five cents. Here's some Uh, milk carton doodads and some vintage bingo numbers so that's what's in there and here's some 
vintage Rolodex cards. These make really cute tags. You alter them. Some old um, flash cards. Here's some library what do you call them? index cards from the, what do you call that? I don't know, whatever that system is. I want to say the Dewey Decimal system. I'm not sure if that's it. Anyway, there's two of those. And then here's some Tundex cards. Um, there's two of those. This one's from December 1955. And this one's from January 1955. And on one side, it gives you all the information about the song. And on the other side, you get the words and the uh, music. I don't know what music that's for if you wanted to play it. It could be piano or I think it's probably piano. Just guessing. I don't play the piano so I really, and I don't read music so I don't know. And here's a vintage bingo card. So there's that. Put that there. Oh, and here is some rusty bits. Um, these I rusted myself. The key is not really rusted, but it's a vintage key. Two of those are in there. Whoops. Totally missed that, didn't I? Okay. All right, all that was in that bag. Okay, and now let's see what's in this bag. Is it a card? It is a card. Nothing in, nope. Does that go with that? Nope. Just a card. This is a vintage stationery with a sheet in it. I'm not going to take that out. And then here's another one. It's a vintage stationery set, the envelope and the paper. I'm not going to take that out either. So that's what was in there. Now let's see what's in here. You should have plenty of stuff to uh, make this journal. should have plenty of stuff left over. I wouldn't use all this, but, you know, I wanted to add a lot of stuff. So you could um, have a lot to use. So here are three big tags and three smaller tags. Here's... Um, seed packet is that what they call those I think so some tea bags two of those a little paper bag here's an alteration tag a layaway tag some guest checks there's two green and oops, I can't get them up to pink bridge score card different two of those different different ones tally sheets they might call them I'm not sure here is some um, here is a threefold um, Time card. Here's a big repair tag. You could fold that up and make a pocket out of it, tear it off and use it somewhere else. And this is from a place I like to go. It's called Granddaddy's. It's a um, antique mall. And you can write, you know, you can take that around with you as you're shopping and write down the item number and the booth that it's in so that you don't forget where things are that you want. You don't have to carry them around with you. Or you can give it to the people up front and they'll go gather it up. So there's that. Um, let's see what we got in here. Um, I think this is some, these are some die cuts that I, that I cut out. 
and I'll just show you those. Did I cut that out? Oh, from some um, scrapbook paper. These are little file folders. This is an envelope, and then here's some more envelopes and some more file folders. These are little pockets here. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bend them. You just, you know, fold them on the, on the score lines. You know how to do that. Here's some uh, picture wheels, Tim Holtz. These are bigger um, file folders here. It's quite a few of those, and I cut those out of file folders. And then here's some library pockets. And these are some envelopes. If you just score them and hook them into this little thing. And I did them out of file folders, so that has part of staples on it. So <laughs> you can uh, cover it up, I guess, if you wanted to. Okay. That is it. That is the prize. So, again, here's the information. And if you hung around and you're still here, thank you very much. And I will be back on March 28th to do the drawing. So, good luck, everybody. Stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.